Everybody wants something for nothing. But people who tuned into Storytime with Dutch Mantel last week had the opportunity to get something for almost nothing. They just had to know the answer to a question or, you know, Google it or try and find out. And we had a little quiz for him last week, Dutch. So we sure did. Do you want me to say, because it was a very specific parameters we had to set here. Do you, uh, do you want to recall what we asked last week? I think we we recalled, and we didn't come up with this till almost going on the on the on the air last week. Not on the air, but when we getting ready to record. And it was who was the only wrestler who won a match while he was dying. I think right. Even more what specific. Was it? Even more specific because we had to be more specific. Who was the only wrestler who? died while um, catching the winning pinfall on an opponent. We had to be very specific with this. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the wrestler who died while... Uh, so how this happened was the wrestler in question uh, did a standing splash or running splash onto his opponent, and I figure he must have had a heart attack and just died instantly on top of his opponent while getting the winning pinfall. And there was only one who qualified. So... Uh, we got, as you can imagine, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of emails in. Most people got it wrong, which normally for you know something with the internet these days, you sort of think, well, everyone's going to get it right. Most people got it wrong. So we got, uh, here's some of the wrong answers. Uh, Mazawa, who died after a back suplex. Moondog Spot, who you were present for. I am Mike DiBiase, who died during a match. I mean, all of these died during a match. King Kong Kirk, who was an English uh, wrestler, but he was the one taking the pin. Perro Aguayo Jr., Plum Mariko, who was a lady wrestler from Japan. Eddie Baker. Uh, a couple of people said, and this was interesting, ancient Greek pancratist or wrestler at the time. Uh, and this is a great name. Arhichion Ar- or something like that. I'll probably butcher the thing. Two people wrote in and said that. A Greek guy who did indeed die while getting the win over an opponent. But the fact was is that he didn't get a pinfall. The guy tapped. So, uh, but somehow he ended up either choking himself out or breaking his own neck in a submission move. Now, l- l- who would know that answer? More than one person knew that answer and sent it in. Really? I, d- I didn't know that. There we go. Um, a couple more. Uh, someone said Ted DiBiase Sr., who is still alive. Uh, Silver King Ray Gunkel, who you were also uh, uh, in the building for that night. Now, uh, one more wrong answer that a lot of people said was Gary Albright. He was sort of married into the Samoan family. He was big in Japan. He was big everywhere, but he was big in Japan. Now, Albright actually died after taking a cutter from a wrestler called Lucifer Grimm, of all names. And then after Albright was motionless after this cutter, uh, his opponent actually dragged Albright onto himself and then essentially... The, pinned himself. Essentially pinned himself with the arms of Wait a, minute, a he- dead person. So Albright was going over. We figure so, yeah. But but he was dead. Yes. <laughs> so he pulled him and laid down and put his arm over him. Yes. I think that would be a sure tip off that something's up. <laughs> you say, wait a minute, did yeah, I just say see the young pulling? bucks are killing the business? I tell you. <laughs> uh, hey, th- you can't. Uh, we'll get in this in a minute, but you cannot kill this business. It's impossible. We have tried and others have tried for 60 or 70 years to kill it. Can't do it. It's the business that won't die. Yeah. Believe me. Uh, So, uh, as I say, the very specific thing that we said was the wrestler had to have died in the commission of executing the winning pinfall, whereas Gary Albright, for all intents and purposes for our competition, had died and then got the winning pinfall. Crazy. Okay, how many people actually got the question correct? Under 20. Uh, as I say, you know, the, the majority of people, the vast majority of people... How many, how many, how many uh, submissions did you have? Probably 100 or so. Really? Yeah, so we had quite a lot. So uh, I'm going to give a few names out. Paul Watson, Michael Moore, Barry Francis, Nick Wheeler, Pam, Derek J. Day... Uh, Robert Young, Johnny Blackwell, James, uh, some of the people who got the right answer, but we are giving the prize to Jason from Attleboro. So, Jason, send us your address. You are a winner. And I'll email this fella, or someone will email this fella, and ask and get the address from this guy as well. Wait a second. 
Why did Jason get it? And the other people who guessed it right didn't get it. Uh, right. So do you want to know the methodology? It was I wrote every correct name down, numbered them all, and then I said to my missus, give me a number between 1 and 20, let's say. And she picked a number, and the number corresponded to Jason from Attleborough. So that is how oh. we picked him. Attle, Attleboro. Is, is that in the UK? No. It's A-T-T-L-E-B-O-R-O. -O. Where's that? Massachusetts? I don't know. Never heard of it. Really? Well, I think they have one in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, there you go. So, uh, 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 right. So, uh, what has uh, Jason from Attleboro won? He has won an autographed copy of Tales from a Dirt Road, which is, I, I got to say, which is a good read. Now, a lot of people won't believe this, but I have forgotten what I wrote in here. So I go back every now and then. And I actually read, I read a uh, a chapter in here, and it's like I've read it for the first time. I guess some people call that <clears throat> stupidity, dementia. <laughs> but it is a very good read. He has won this and autographed, and I may even send him. No, I'm no, not going to send it. No, I'm not going <laughs> to send him this. But I'll probably send him a, a little bit of a WCW card, which I think 10 million were released. So I have a lot of them. But uh, this is for his time, and uh, I appreciate it. And his name is what? Jason. Uh, Jason. Yes. So Jason send us your Attleboro. Full name. Yeah, so What's send his last us your name? Full, uh, he didn't say. Send us your full name, send us your address, and that book will get to you in four to six months, right? <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you? Yeah. 